Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I am going to tell you all about how we can make yes no questions with the to be forms of the verbs am, is, are. In the previous video lessons, you have learnt all about affirmative sentences and negative sentences using the to be forms am is are but you must understand that every sentence that we speak can be in three forms the affirmative negative and the question forms in these question forms again there are two types the yes no questions and the wh questions so this yes no questions are where we ask the question with am is are and WH questions are those questions which start with what, why, who, whose, why, when and so on. So in today's class we are going to focus our attention only on the yes no questions. Let me first tell you about what yes no questions mean. Yes no questions are those questions which when asked gives the answer with yes or no. That means they start with Amizar, the questions start with Amizar and the answers that we get begin with yes or no. Hence they are known as yes no questions. They are also called as confirmation questions because they confirm some doubts. For example, if I ask you, are you a student? You would say either yes I am a student or you would say no I am not a student. So when I say, are you a student, I'm actually trying to confirm my doubts. I'm trying to confirm what I know about you. So confirmation question always are called yes, no questions because the answers begin with yes or no. So let's get started with the yes, no questions with the to be forms am, is, are. Now, how do you form these questions? I am. Am I? He is, is he, she is, is she, it is, is it, we are, are we, they are, are they, you are, are you. Now all these are nothing but the way, the structure in which you ask the question. Let's look at some examples now. Are you a teacher? Now, this is an example of a yes, no question. Now, how do you answer this? Yes, I'm a teacher. And if you're not a teacher, you say, no, I'm not a teacher. And the next one, is he your father? The answers can be positive or negative, affirmative or negative. Yes, he's my father. No, he's not my father. He's my uncle. Is your mobile phone very expensive? Yes, my mobile phone is very expensive. Or you can say, yes, it is very expensive. Or you can say, no, it is not very expensive. See, in all these questions, you can observe that you are asking questions with is, are or even am. The next example. Are you interested in music? Yes, I am interested in music. No, I am not interested in music. Look at the way you are answering these questions. Are you a graduate? Yes, I'm a graduate. No, I'm not a graduate. Is your house big? Yes, my house is big. No, my house is not big. Is this course interesting? Yes, this course is interesting. No, this course is not interesting. And when you observe the way I read these questions or say these questions, you must have noticed that I am saying it with a rising tone. Whenever you ask a question, you ask a yes or no question. If you are asking a question with say am, is, are, it should always go in a rising tone. Are you a student? So you can see that from the bottom you go to the top. This is called the rising tone in your voice. Always confirmation questions go up. They are in a rising tone. And then, is this course interesting? 
Yes, it is interesting. No, it's not interesting. Let's go to the next few examples. Are you happy? If somebody asks you, are you happy? What do you say? Yes, I'm happy. Or you say, no, I'm not very happy. If something is not really nice, you say, I'm not very happy. Is she your daughter? Yes, she's my daughter. No, she's not my daughter. She's my niece. So you can answer questions this way. When you are asked, yes, no questions. Are they at home? Yes, they are at home. No, they are not at home. Is it your pet dog? No, it's not my pet dog. Or yes, it's my pet dog. Are we students here? Yes, we are students here. No, we are not students. Are they doctors? No, they are not doctors. Yes, they are doctors. Next, I'm going to now tell you how to make questions with Amizar for an answer given. Suppose there is a sentence which is an answer. How should you make questions with am is are? How should you make a yes or no question using am is are? Let's get started. Yes, I'm here. All you have to do is reverse it. Yes, I am here. How do you make the question? Instead of saying I am, you say am I? Am I here? Yes, he is a good boy. Now, how do you make the question? He is becomes is he. Is he a good boy? Yes, she's beautiful. She is becomes is she. Is she beautiful? Yes, it is my book. Is it your book? Yes, they are good players. Are they good players? Yes, I'm fond of sweets. Am I fond of sweets? You can ask yourself or you can say, are you fond of sweets? Yes, it is 10 o'clock. Is it 10 o'clock? Yes, it's a holiday. Is it a holiday? Yes, my father is a businessman. Yes, my father. My father becomes, my father is becomes, is your father. Is your father a businessman? Yes, this is my pen. So this is becomes, is this. Is this your pen? Yes, these are mangoes. These are becomes, are these, are these mangoes? Yes, they are coming. They are becomes, are they, are they coming? No, the books are not available. Books are not available. You can ask, are the books available? Sometimes you can also ask the negative questions. Are the books not available? Aren't the books available? Sometimes you can make a negative question as well. Yes, the doctor is experienced. Is the doctor experienced? Yes, she is talkative. Is she talkative? Yes, my mother tongue is Telugu. Is your mother tongue Telugu? Yes, he is intelligent. Is he intelligent? Yes, the movie is interesting. Is the movie interesting? Yes, the patient is critical. Is the patient critical? Yes, the weather is hot. Is the weather hot? Yes, the vegetables are fresh. Are the vegetables fresh? Yes, they are from Hyderabad. Are they from Hyderabad? Now, if you look at all these sentences, you notice that all you have to do is just reverse the order. She is becomes is she. He is becomes is he. They are becomes are they. I am becomes am I. You are becomes are you. It is becomes is it. All you have to do is reverse the order and make the question. The yes or no question. You can do a lot of practice on your own by making similar sentences and changing them to negative forms and question forms. And the best way you can practice is by looking at this video and saying along with me. As I say these sentences, as I read these sentences from the screen, you too can read the sentences from the screen aloud and practice with me. That way you become very, very fluent. Your tongue becomes very free with the language. 
These are very simple exercises. These are very simple concepts in grammar. But practice with these simple concepts can make you very, very fluent in language. So I'm sure you enjoyed learning all about how we can make yes, no questions with am, is, are. And I'm sure you'll practice. You get into the task of practicing all these sentences aloud. Once you practice them aloud, listen and practice or even make sentences of your own, you are on the way to becoming very, very fluent. Thank you very much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. See you soon. Bye.